Good morning. The Great Lysonian is out on an asparagus finding adventure. We are here in a normal San Luis Valley field. Doesn't look like we're going to find a, a bounty of food in this uh, pasture necessarily. But I'm going to show you how to recognize last year's dead stalks, which give way to where the fresh, tender green shoots are coming up. As we walk along, we look for the old straw colored, brightly colored stalks from the year before because they are the sign that fresh green asparagus spears are near. And you might ask why go for a wild asparagus when it's so plentiful? Well, there's just a certain connection to Mother Nature that's so special to come out and forage your own food and have that connection with the land and the earth and it's also wonderful to get asparagus from our farmers but uh, we'll talk about that in a minute. So I like to go along a fence line and one of the nice things about the fence line is that this is where the birds land when they've just eaten some uh, asparagus seeds in the fall and they poop them plentifully along the fence line and you can see this uh, this golden spear here is showing us where close down by the ground might be an asparagus and I am a snapper of asparagus many people are knife uh, cutters of asparagus but we're gonna go along this I've got a magpie chattering at me we're gonna go along this fence line and get into the sunshine so here here is last year's spear you can see this golden spear and at the base is none other than a beautiful asparagus spear. I'll snap it at its base and keep on moving. Here's uh, last year's stock again. You can see this golden stock. This is what you look for on the side of the road. That gives you the clue that there's asparagus nearby. If I look here, I see a very short uh, new spear, but I'm going to let that one grow. So we'll keep going move along here and here we see the plant again ah nothing I see nothing so we'll keep going to our next patch so here we have another nice young shoot coming we'll just let that one grow but then I look over here and what do I see ah beauty. We'll snap that one off. I look in here and I see there's a kind of a slender one but it'll make good eating so I'll go ahead and harvest those too. We'll see what else we find along the magical fence line. There's a beauty. We'll grab that one. Leave the little ones to grow and we see some here that's growing up to give seed to the birds for next year so we'll leave that one and we'll keep looking down the fence line oh here's the old stalks and down in there there's a beauty can't wait to have asparagus for breakfast today there's some small ones coming up we'll let them be Here's a beautiful example of a nice uh, growth from last year and a fat stalk growing at its bottom. So we'll take these, and this is a Swatch County. It's one of our hidden secrets, all our wild asparagus, but I know Alamosa County, I've seen them there too, so we, uh, we can find them along our ditch banks everywhere, I think. Um, okay, we'll get a final few right here where I can uh, take them home and saute them for you so you can see how to cook them and then we will talk about how you can also get these in beautiful bunches from the Valley Roots Food Hub but look at this I got five beautiful stalks right here just got to be careful of the careful of the uh, Russian thistle because it wants to get you whoops there's one there's one hiding right here I didn't see fun all right let's go to the kitchen Okay, back at the house, I have my bounty from about five minutes of picking. You can actually get pounds and pounds if you go out on a big adventure. Stalking the wild asparagus like Ewell Gibbons. 
<clears throat> and um, I've just cut off the little ends here and then I'm going to go to my cast iron skillet where I've warmed it up and added some olive oil. I'm going to put my uh, asparagus in there. I'm going to uh, roll it around in the olive oil. Then I'm going to maybe lightly salt it. And I'm going to add a little garlic powder from NOLA Naturals. Now it's sizzling along. And after about 10 minutes of this, uh, gently rolling it around with my spatula, I will have the most delicious treat uh, for breakfast. And I'm, I, I am reaping what I did not sow. But if you would like to reap what somebody has sowed, you can also receive asparagus for the next couple weeks, as we're almost out of season, um, from Valley Roots Food Hub. And that's www.valleyrootsfoodhub.com. Okay.